their newspaper. Here's your newspaper! Enjoy your newspaper! My job is kind of funny, but it's one I really like. I ride around all morning on my rusty, trusty bike. When I get to your driveway, I will pull a paper out. I'll toss it to your front door, and this is what I'll shout. Today, I'm going on a brand new paper route in a totally new neighborhood. I just hope the tires on my old bike hold out. It's time to head off for my first day on my new paper route. It's down the road, over the hill, and through the woods. It's a beautiful day to deliver some well, now I'm off and riding through the woods and past some trees. This day could not be fine. It smells the flowers, feel the breeze. My old bike's moving nicely and I'm feeling rather swell. Can't wait to find that first house where I'll ride right up and the Giant shoe! 
Hmm, kind of strange. Newspaper! You know, this place looks like it's out of a fairy tale or something. Fix my tire. Is that candy? And cookies? And gum drops? And the house is made of gingerbread. Who in the world lives here? Hello? Oh, somebody's home. Hello there? You Must be the new paper boy. What a nice fellow. I think I'll ask him to have lunch with me. Hmm. Yoo-hoo, 
paper boy? Yes? <gasps> you're... You're a witch! Well, right you are. Welcome to Fairytale Village. Say, I was hoping I could have you for lunch today. Have me for lunch? Yikes! I wonder why he hid like that. He must be shy. I'll ask him again. Hey, guy, why so shy? You went away when I try to say hi. I'll make lunch and can't stop. So don't hide behind that lollipop. Gee, sorry, gotta say no. Gotta run right now. Gotta run, gotta go. Hey, guy, why so shy? We'll have a meal if you stop by. My kitchen's warm and comfy, too. Just for you. <gasps> Dear sorry, hate to be rude. You can't eat that kettle for some other dude. Hey, God, why so shy? You just might like it if you give it a try. So take a chance and stop and stay. Instead of hiding out and running away. She really wants to eat me. I've got to get away. I really need some company. Share my lunch today. I don't want to get cooked in onions, broth, and butter. Maybe she won't see me if I have on each other. Hey, guy, my oh my. You're not a bunch, and I don't see why. What does a nice witch have to do? Spend some time hanging out with you. I guess the paper boy isn't interested in lunch. Maybe he'd rather have dinner. Some paper route this turned out to be. That witch was even scarier than <gasps> the wolf. Hey there, paper boy. Now I'll huff and puff and I'll. No, you won't. There you are, paper boy. Yike! Hi again. Whoa! You witch! Oh, hey there, neighbor. How have you been? Fine, thanks. How are the lollipops coming in? Very nicely, thank you. I was just going to ask the new paper boy to join me for dinner. What a nice idea. I should have him over for lunch. I already asked about lunch. He didn't seem interested. Then I'll have him for breakfast. Good idea. Hey, paper boy. Hmm. hmm. Where did he go, I wonder? He's disappeared again. Well, I know how to find them. Hop on. Okay. Oh, oh paper boy! Where are you? Uh-oh. Paper boy! <gasps> I don't see them. Looks like I gave them the slip. Yoo-hoo! Paper ah! boy! Yikes! Hey, wait! Don't go! For dinner. Not if I can help it. Huh? A beanstalk. Paper boy? <gasps> Looks like there's no place to go but up. <sighs> Finally, I got away from that witch and that wolf. Hmm. I wonder who lives up here. I don't see anybody around. Thank goodness. No more scary characters. I think I'll just rest for a minute. <sighs> Fee, fi, <gasps> fo, foeing. Did you hear that? Hello, paper boy. How's it going? <gasps> Yikes! Giant! Fee, fi, fo, fee. I think he wants to play hide and seek. One. He'll crush me and grind up my bone. Six, seven, and whatever other scary stuff that fairy tale giants do. Ten. Fee, fi, fo, fo. Ready or not, here I come. <gasps> Don't find me. Please don't 
find me. Fee five fo foy. Hello, little paper boy. <gasps> he found me. Ah! What's he doing now? <gasps> Help! I'm gonna get you. Ah, no! Leave me alone! Whoa! Whoa! Fee five fo foom. I think he wants to bounce around. For dinner. Then I'll have him for breakfast. I'm having him for breakfast. Or do you want to have him for breakfast and I'll have him for dinner? Hmm. Hold on. I'm having him for dinner. Unless you'd rather he has you for lunch and I have you for snack. Uh, uh, lunch? Uh, uh, snack? Great then. So you'll have him for breakfast, she'll have him for dinner, and I'll have him for a snack. 
Sounds great. It's settled. That's good. But before anybody has him for anything, I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll no! blow up your tire. What? Good as new. That certainly was surprising. So now I can have you for dinner. <gasps> I've made a great, big, delicious tuna casserole. You, you mean for dinner? You're going to have tuna casserole? Only if you'll have some with me. And then have scrambled eggs with me. And chocolate pudding with me. So you guys don't want to eat me? You want to eat with me? Of course. We don't eat paper, boys. That wouldn't be right. Huh. I guess I had you guys all wrong. When I first saw you, I thought you were really scary. And now? Now that I know you, you're not scary at all. We've got a new paperboy and fairy tale villain. Hooray! This is a village that's pretty great. This is a village I like. This is a village with friendly folks and a wolf who makes my bike. The giant is a smiley guy. The witch is extra sweet. And every person I've met so far has invited me over to eat. You're in fairy tale village. It's one terrific town. You're in fairy tale village. Hope you can stick around. Our little village has something now, something we really do need. We've got a fairy tale paper boy here to bring us the news to read. I'll bring papers to every house each morning. Have us over for snack? Sounds good to me. Fee, fa, fo, fa. I can't wait to have a snack. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll <pop. laughs> That was a great fairy tale village adventure, don't you think? It sure was. I know. Yeah. We got the whole wide world.